Gotta do more. <laughs> so here's more. I mean, either we are just a reproducing machine invented by chemistry four billion years ago, or we're not. It is sort of vital to the whole discussion is what are we? What have we been designed to do by the natural selection process? Is there something besides consumption and reproduction on the agenda? <laughs> Naturally. So yeah, I'm on the side of giving people the right to gracefully exit, if that's their choice. We don't gracefully enter, we're not asked whether we want to be here. It's a rather significant event that goes on here, even just existing, even just existing in this country. You are basically killing Chinamen. You are implicating. You can't exist without being an implication, and uh, that imposes responsibility. And, uh, well, anyway, you know, look, I, I made it real clear in the last video. I mean, the issue here is, is where do we do this, this, you call it depressive, where do we do this pessimistic, optimistic bullshit? Let's have that rational argument. Because that's really what it's about. You're just applying some normative standard. You're saying, here's normal, here's majority. Let's judge everything based on the majority standard. That's the kind of bullshit that you would expect from a theist. The evaluative claim that this world is an imperfect, fucked up one is mistaken. The world is just... <laughs> yeah, well, see, you say it's mistaken, but that's part of what this argument's about, isn't it? What are we doing? Are we just voyaging through shit? Or are we actually going somewhere? Or is this really... Uh, anybody who doesn't see it as a wonderful vacation, paradise island, how can anybody refuse this marvelous adventure kind of propaganda? And that's the legitimate discussion to have. Like I said, what's the, what's the rational argument that this life thing is, uh, makes sense? And it's not about whether or not nature feels or not, or whether nature thinks or not. The question is, is how do we rationalize it? How do we apply an equation to say, ah, yes, Consciousness is being treated with proper dignity in this wonderful environment. Is life on Earth efficient? That's sort of the question here. And it becomes an important question when it comes to the human dynamic, because human beings are capable of applying judgment. Animals can't. They just do what their fucking biology dictates. They're completely owned by the DNA. We can step above it. And, and basically what's taking place here is as soon as somebody dares to step above it and ridicule that DNA, the status quoers like yourself whap that down good. Call an 800 number, okay? Preserve the integrity of the DNA molecule. You know, 1-800-PRESERVE-DNA. Save DNA from ridicule. I mean, that's all it's coming down to.